a nickel, and a nail. Notice that a single cursor still appears when each target is detected. Yet, because the ID cursor appears in a segment above one that is not darkened on the lower scale, there is no sound. No matter what kind of detector you hunt with, bench testing helps you to understand all its controls. The knowledge you gain by bench testing any detector will enable you to use it more effectively when you take it to a beach or park to hunt for coins, jewelry, and rings. Plus, it will help you avoid finding pull tabs and similar trash. This detector also offers user set discrimination. You can regulate the discrimination for any type of target you seek. The lower scale of the graphic display contains 12 segments. As you have learned, those that are darkened represent targets that will be detected in the individual operating modes. In the all metal mode, for instance, all segments are darkened, which indicates that every metal target will be accepted and recognized audibly by the ace. Through use of the discrimination and elimination touchpads, specific notches can be created by adding or removing targets from acceptance in any operating mode. There are two methods of setting discrimination notches. You can use the discrimination touchpad to move the cursor and darken the specific segment of the upper scale corresponding to the particular target to be detected or ignored. Then press the elimination touchpad to darken this segment or turn it off, depending on your discrimination choice for this specific target. In the second method, pass the search coil over an object to be accepted or rejected as a target. Check to make certain there is an appropriate indication on the upper scale, then press the elimination pad to either accept or reject this specific target. It is important to remember that each time the detector is turned off and turned on again, it will return to factory discrimination settings. The custom discrimination mode enables you to design your own treasure hunting mode. Any discrimination setting you make in this custom mode will be retained in the detector's memory even after the instrument has been turned off and turned on again. Because of its discrimination capabilities, the ACE-250 functions as an outstanding coin hunting detector, especially in its coins mode. Deep seeking capability and the depth and conductivity information available, combined with the ACE's ease of handling, make this a superb instrument for finding coins, whether you choose to hunt for them in a park, on a beach, or elsewhere. Let's talk about that touchpad on the control panel marked Sensitivity. Of course you'll be tempted to set sensitivity to the maximum to hunt as deeply as possible. Garrett Engineers designed your ACE-250 for maximum sensitivity. There will be times, however, when conditions cause erratic sounds such as these, which you can eliminate by reducing the sensitivity. Three factors can cause your detector to behave erratically. Outside electromagnetic interference, irregular ground mineralization, and a large number of trash targets. When such conditions occur, make certain that you are scanning with your coil at a constant height. You might find it helpful to raise the coil an inch or two. Conditions in the area may sometimes require that you search at reduced sensitivity. Always begin operating at the factory preset sensitivity setting, which will be appropriate for most environments. You can increase sensitivity to the level that conditions permit. Attempting to operate at sensitivity above the level that permits quiet and stable operation may actually cause you to miss deep targets that you would have found had you not pushed the detector. Keep practicing with the ACE's mode and sensitivity controls until you understand them and learn how they help you understand just what your detector is discovering. Incidentally, if you ever want to return to your detector settings to those set at the factory,
Press and hold the power touchpad for about five seconds or until you hear two beeps. The headphone jack is located at the rear of the control housing. Headphones are a valuable accessory for any metal detector. They are particularly essential in noisy locations where it is difficult to hear sounds from the detector. Because all Garrett detectors are designed to maximize battery life, the four AA batteries that came with the A should last 20 to 40 hours. Notice the battery symbol on the lower right side of your display. It contains four